Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator of Bear Bull Traders, and this is Thor Trades. Thor Trades is a segment I'm going to be doing where you're going to be able to interface more directly with me through our YouTube channel. In order to get a little bit more activity and to start getting a little bit more interaction between you guys and me, I'm going to start doing regular segments that I'm going to be calling Thor Trades. Now in these segments, what I'm going to be doing is looking to the comments to see what questions y'all have and what you're looking to get answers for. So we can go in there, any suggestions you have, you can leave those in the comments below, and then I'll be able to take a look at that and then make new videos together custom just for you guys so that you're getting the information you want rather than me just showing you random recaps on random subject matter I'm thinking about. Especially since I get um, overly obsessive about one topic often, this will also help you guys keep me focused on new stuff that you need. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and move on to a recording I did today. Um, the suggestion for this recording actually came out of our chat room um, at the BBT chat, and it's going to be a little discussion on the basic utilization of hotkeys. Um, the trading part of it is a little rudimentary because I'm just trying to show examples, so you're not going to be able to see, you know, you're not going to see great risk versus reward. Um, you know, execution or any of those things. But what you will see is how to basically set up and configure the hotkeys, especially for the DOS platform. I hope you enjoy that and have a great day. Thanks. So right now I'm looking at AMD uh, today. Um, I haven't traded AMD at all. Um, haven't really been looking too much into the fundamentals of this, but we're just going to be demonstrating some hotkeys. Um, so there's no reason to get too crazy about it. And I'm actually, as you can see here, I'm switching into my paper account. So for one of the first things that a lot of y'all are trading with DOS um, should do is really uh, take the time to make sure you're switching into your paper account while you're testing things. All right. Um, on this version, you can actually do it very quickly. Um, but one way you can make a lot of mistakes. I know I've done it. I know you've probably done it, uh, which is actually leaving your paper, uh, thinking you're in your paper account when you're not and then taking a trade, which never goes well, uh, at least in my experience. So. In this um, video, what we're going to be going over is some hotkeys. Um, I, I particularly like to use hot buttons over hot keys. Um, you can go up um, into your setup and you can actually set up your hotkey configuration up here in the top where you can go through and you can actually put them all in there and then set them up. So while your um, montage is selected, you can hit these different keys and they will you know, give you different functionality. Um, I am very, very bad at remembering things like that. So I personally uh, um, do not really use hot keys, rather I use hot buttons. So um, you can see down here in this uh, area right here, we have all of my current hot buttons. Um, they are, um, some of them are relatively basic. Other of them are very customized and very cool. Um, one of them is uh, these, um, or one set of them are actually the buy and the short hot buttons. So in order to use these, all you really need to do is come down. If you have a level that you like that it's holding, you can double click in the chart there. Come over here. You make sure you're in your test account in my ends, and you can go ahead and buy 100 shares. So what happened when I bought 100 shares is it went ahead, put 100 shares. Uh, it went ahead or not. Sorry, $100 worth of shares. So what it goes ahead and does is it actually looks at that level that I clicked, which was 5411 and it automatically calculates the number of shares I can take. Takes those shares for me, and then puts a stop order out for me right in its spot. So when I'm going to do this, my risk is automatically managed the instant I get into the trade, and since I don't adjust my risk after I'm into a trade, I basically don't have to do a whole lot with this trade after this point, other than where I can, um, you know, other than just waiting to see what's going to go happen. Now, my risk here is from 52.24 down to 54.11. So I'm going to need a nice pop up towards 54.50 for a partial. And uh, let's let's see what happens there. So how these keys work is very interesting. You can see here it's a real long uh, string here. So um, specifically, I'm not going to go down into how this breaks down and how the syntax of this key works. But basically what it's doing is when you click on that level, it's auto filling your level into here. Now to be able to do that, let's see if I can remember exactly where that was. 
It's either in configure or in chart area. It's probably chart area. Oh, oops, sorry, chart area. All right. Let's see, last sale price. It's been a while since I've had to actually turn this on. Where's the click to trade out there? Any of you in the chat room, you remember where the click to trade? Show trades, show orders, hide quantity. So I was right the first time. It's con right click on the window, configure, tick, double click to trade. And here it is right here. I knew I was on the right window the first time. Ah, anyway, there you go. Double click to trade. Ta-da. All right. So if if you once that's enabled, then when you double click on the line, it's going to pre-fill this box so that when you hit that key, it will do that calculation. Now, those are my favorite keys. The only difference between each one of these is just this value here, this share value. So all you have to do is change that to any increment you want, and that's what you're going to get. If you make that 100, it's 100. You make it 150, it's 150. Easy, easy, right? No problem. So and what that allows you to do is get a nice dollar risk value so that it's um, really good. Now, once we're into a position, that's all rare, good, but what do we do with it once we're in it, right? Maybe we're moving up here. We're going to want to take a partial. Now, a lot of the the some of the best ways to take partials are obviously just going to be to put a nice limit order out and get filled that way um some of, but the other ways are is once you get in there is to use these hot keys and i'll show you a little bit more about those so we've got some other ones that are pretty fun so we have these sell 10 percent, sell 20 percent, cover 10 percent, 20 percent, and then quarter half and all all of these are basically the same hot button they're just configured a little bit differently for each one so if you look at it, you can actually see it's a very simple uh, button, right? This one here, 25% of the position. You can see here, asterisk dot 25, that's going to go for 25% of position. So share equals 25% of the position, right? Now, for the sell all, I have one thing added. I added in this right here to the front, cancel all symbol. But the reason I want to do that is because if I already have an order sitting here, right and then i sell off my entire position i don't want a stop order sitting here that'll send me into a negative position if it goes down because i'm selling out most likely because it's going down so i wouldn't want that to happen so i actually have that cancel all symbol in there to help with that now if we get moving up and we actually make some positive direction on this one with the way the spy is looking right now is not very likely um, what we're going to do then is we can actually use these quarter and half buttons or 10% buttons to take off parts of our position as we go on. Um, once I take a position, I'll utilize this, which is my break even button. I can't use that right now because if I get a down tick, I'll probably get stopped out of my position because what it'll do is it'll immediately adjust my position up to whatever my current um, average cost is, right, from all of my shares. So we're gonna wait here for just a second and see if we can get a pop. Maybe we can do, um, we can uh, get a little partial out. now. Since it looks like we're kind of pressing up a little bit, I think I might actually add into this position for the break, and I'm going to adjust from the low area here up to the to the loss of pre-market low. So I'm going to double click there, which fills that value in, and then I'm actually going to free roll plus. What the free roll plus did is it went ahead in and it added me in shares, and it adjusted my average cost just to below pre-market low. So you see how that did. So now my average cost is here, but I have a thousand shares where before I only had 700, right? So that being a good decision or not, it looks like it's going to come back and stop me out. But I, I wanted to be able to demonstrate how the free roll works. Now that free roll key works no matter where you are in your trade, as long as you're not under the trade. Obviously, if you're if you're in here, you don't want to add in shares because um, that's you know that's not gonna work um, but you can but that's how you can add in uh, to the long side now ideally when I use the free roll key is when we've actually enjoyed a move already and then we do a pullback and then I'll add here adjusting my risk for the next leg up which is quite handy um, this one gave me an opportunity so I demonstrated it but of course we're gonna get stopped down on it but that's no big deal um, so selling out of position selling out of keys 
Um, let's see what else we got. Look, we're just going to come down. We'll just get right back into another one like we're revenge trading this thing. What's the market doing? Do I got any shot? I want to be able to show an example. Yeah, let's revenge trade this thing. All right, so we're still in our test account. Let's make sure. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and um, get a... Actually, let's just wait a second. It might be dropping. What are you doing? It's still holding. Market has been very weak, so I probably should have been demonstrating using shorts. So let's try it. Maybe I'll make the whole market turn by going short for everybody. So let's switch over. Ah, look at that. It was going to get me. It's being, it's being a little tricky. So let's try a short position. Maybe we'll get a short position on this thing. Ah, it's, it's holding this level. Market's holding 308.29. What do you guys think? Long or short? <laughs> All right, short it is. So we're going to click there. We're going to go right above these averages. Oh, pop me on a chart. I clicked too close to the candle. There we go. You sure? Fine. So we're going to go short, click, got new stop loss up there. Whether it works or not, it's a great demonstration of how it works. So I went short in this because that seemed to be the consensus. Um, oh, there are lots of shorts, longs, buy, short, short. Megan wants short, so... Let's see what happens. I'm going to invert the entire market with this long play, by the way. Or this short play. <laughs> the whole market's now going to sell up massively because I'm trying to throw an example. So. Give it a couple more minutes and we'll go through. So, free roll key. Um, any of these hotkeys that we have out here, if you're a member of the BBT room, um, you can actually go into our chat room and you go up to the top and we actually have a file folder up there. And what you can do is you can actually get in, you can go into that file folder. All of my hotkey layouts are actually uploaded in there as long as my screen outlays. So it's something um, for the BBT members that can be very helpful. So um, hopefully you all will um, like that and utilize that. Hey, look, we're actually moving down. Winner, winner. Let's see what happens. All right, so this obviously isn't a two to one, but let's show, I want to at least show you guys how the partial keys work. So we're coming down here. Now we're in a short position, so I'm going to want to cover. So hopefully we'll get a little pop down here and then I'll cover, I'll, I'll just go ahead and cover off half the position. So let's get a good, let's see if we get a little pop or I guess a little drop would be the instance. There we go. All right, so we'll cover off a little bit of the position there. All right, so obviously not proper risk reward management. I would need to wait for the break of $55, $54 for proper risk management, but we're showing examples here. So once I've covered into my position, since I no longer want to give any of it back, I will go ahead and hit my stop to break even key. So you see it immediately brought my stop right back to this level. Now, the reason why you don't want to partial too early is because when you do... <laughs> <laughs> you're very likely to get stopped. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's part of how that all works. You know, you got to wait for it. But perfect example of how the break-even script works. So one of the questions was, is how do you adjust it? Right, that's what I do. So you get short, you get a partial, I immediately hit the stop to break-even script. What that does is it automatically moves my position, whether it's short or long, right back to my average cost with every share that I've got. That way... Even if we have a volatile market that's moving around a little bit, I can grab a partial and then no, I'm not going to give any of the profit back, right? So those are a couple of our hotkeys. Um, I actually am recording this, so it's going to be uploaded. Um, so if you um, want to check it out later, it's going to be on the YouTube channel. Um, you know, I um, just want to kind of go through, give you guys a little bit of an overview of how our hotkeys we have are using. Um, obviously, we're just doing this on the fly, so it's hard to get a perfect example off of a perfect trade. To show you, although, you know, you never, 
no, it actually looks like it's popping up now. Let's go one more long. Let's just have fun with this thing. So, <laughs> but another example of how um, of how this um, works. So, risk management, which I am obviously doing none of, is one of the most critical aspects of trading. Um, so, these hotkeys can be an amazing addition to those. So, um, before I conclude, small shout out to Kyle of Kyle's Hotkeys. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he's a member of the BBT community and he is a cornerstone here that we really, really appreciate out. Um, and, um, you know, he has been a big part of putting a, to a lot of these keys together, actually calling, um, you know, he actually called DOS, talked with DOS and figured out how to do that. So it's really, um, really, really helpful to have some of this process automated because being able in this fast market to dynamically calculate your risk on the fly, especially if you're running a fixed risk scenario, is very, very difficult. So um, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, it hasn't been glamorous, um, but it certainly um, I, I hope it was able to um, clarify some of the hot button usage for you all. So um, once again, I hope you all have a great day. And as always, keep it green.